nation for it again. So, as you know, Tempo, the African Securities Exchanges Association is the association of exchanges across uh, the, con the continent, yeah. 28 exchanges, 32 countries um, uh, so far. And uh, the idea is to come up with common standards, um, improved competitiveness of, of the exchanges, and um, learning, using the network effect uh, to better uh, the economies uh, in Africa using um, securities exchanges. Um, Nigeria is hosting the for the second time. Yeah. Uh, as you know, this year is going to be the 22nd um, annual conference. Yeah. And for us, it is an opportunity to show co showcase Nigeria as a, a very strong investment destination, uh, a very strong destination for tourism, uh, a strong destination for capacity. Uh, as you know, we're now in the fourth industrial revolution. revolution. And so the theme of this year's um, conference is really focused on how exchanges uh, can catalyze uh, and really be champions uh, for their various uh, economies. Uh, to adapt uh, fourth industrial revolution uh, technologies as we try to provide financing uh, for, for those economies. Mm. Okay, so uh, as at the time the press release came out, it says we had uh, some 44 keynote speakers and the list continues to grow. But as of this morning, you've just updated that we've got 66. I mean, what uh, or how significant will be the thoughts of these keynote speakers, these thought leaders, policymakers that will be attending from across the continent? How significant Significant will that be for the capital markets in this continent? Uh, very significant because we have um, uh, attendees from across the globe. We have speakers from ac across the globe. Uh, we're going to have uh, panel sessions, uh, keynote speeches, fire fireside chats, and things like that. Uh, so we're expecting about 66 uh, speakers across 11 sessions. Right. Uh, and this is a two-day uh, conference uh, with a, a, the first day is a three-day event. The first day is the annual general meeting, okay. and then the uh, next two days, uh, the conference itself. So with the annual general meeting, it means at that point you will no longer be the president. Correct. So I'll be stepping down this year, okay. uh, uh, having served as president of uh, last year uh, for four years. All good years. Uh, do you want to bring us up to speed on some of the uh, achievements that you've recorded in this period? Uh, in this period, we're really taking us here to a much higher level. Okay. Uh, uh, we have uh, MOUs with the Africa Development Bank, okay. uh, with um, the CFA Institute, uh, with the CISI, which is the equivalent of uh, CIS here, okay. but uh, across uh, the Continent. world, okay. uh, to provide um, collaboration, uh, common standards, um, build linkages across the continent so that you can do cross-border trading, mm. um, really find new ways to support SME financing and, and things like that. In the same period, we've uh, also updated our website and established ourselves as the definitive authority uh, in getting Africa exchanges-related data. So if you want to know what uh, traded in Botswana, you can get it on the ASEA website. All right. Uh, we've also created an index, actually two indices, Pan-African indices in partnership with FTSE uh, to give an idea of movement of um, uh, stocks uh, on the continent. As you know, ASEA is home to uh, 1,100 listed companies mm. uh, covering $1.5 trillion. Uh, so we we're really trying to see how we can create a deeper pool of liquidity uh, where investors can, um, you know, um, affect their savings in a, in a, in a, in a very um, efficient manner and where issuers uh, can access those savings. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk a bit about some of the uh, key focus of this uh, uh, conference. Uh, you got fintech, you got green growth, you got SME financing, financial inclusion and all that. Um, how many of these will be able to uh, uh, impact the capital markets WACMIC initiative that the Nigerian market is also coming up with? How much of that will change the game for us in the future? So, you know, the topics that will be discussed were selected very carefully uh, to really, as you know, Nigeria issued the first sovereign uh, green bond in, uh, in, in uh, Africa. Uh, and 
So we want to leverage on that to talk about green growth yes. uh, and uh, how corporates uh, can build uh, on that yield curve that the uh, federal government of Nigeria has established and how other African countries can uh, leverage that. We want to talk about the sustainable development goals, how exchanges and the financial system can help to finance um, the achievement of the 169 targets. As you know, there are about 17 goals. Yeah. Um, we also want, we're going to be talking about SME financing, like I mentioned earlier. And more importantly, uh, how do you use big data analytics, cloud, um, uh, the Internet of Things, um, you know, blockchain technology, yeah. uh, to really uh, find efficient ways to have more inclusive participation in the capital markets. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, all of these discussions and more are really geared to get our creative juices mm -hmm. going and drive innovation uh, on the continent. So you also got uh, regulatory technology as a major uh, topic that will be discussed there. Uh, How is that supposed to address the issues we have around financial services regulation in this continent? Well, I, I think uh, that is uh, fintech and regtech are uh, um, emerging areas that are quite exciting for us. Uh, the exchange, in fact, now has an innovation hub, which we established this year, uh, to help uh, uh, co-create and co-invest mm -hmm. uh, in fintech space and create an ecosystem to support uh, listing of uh, these uh, emerging high growth uh, technology companies. Mm -hmm. um, on the back of that, we also have a new regulation technology uh, department uh, which is focused on how do you use technology to better regulate uh, the market and provide uh, a more equitable fair playing field, if you will, where everybody has confidence that um, it's the same information that they have that every other person has, and it, it then goes to the ability to um, extract uh, value uh, from the marketplace. And we're already doing some cool things, like we, we have a chatbot. Temple Lashaju, Capital Market Producer and a show anchor, uh, speaking with Oscar Onyema, the current chairman of Asia and the CEO of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Uh, that was uh, late last month ahead of uh, the conference taking place in Nigeria, November 26th and 27th. That's next week, Monday and Tuesday. Let's come back after the break. A little bit about the commodities exchange, how to use the stock market to fund agri-commodity value chain. That's coming right after the break. You're watching the Capital Market.